Good morning, everyone. We are at Skidmark Garage here in the heart of Cleveland, not too far from the station, actually. Um, came here about four years ago uh, when they initially opened, and then we did a, a, a live shot with Cleveland Chain Reaction, uh, talking to Brian and his crew. It's a DIY garage, which means there's no mechanics here. You know, you, you, you get a membership, bring your bike in, and then hang out with all these guys and all their knowledge, and you start wrenching. And uh, that's what happened with Willie here. Really cool story. One of the guys here... Uh, told us about you, Willie. First of all, let's talk about <laughs> what I just dubbed Willie's Corner. Uh, this is one of your bikes over here. We'll start with this one. Tell us a little bit about this one, Willie. Uh, 1970 pan head. Yeah. Uh, uh, shovel head. Uh, custom raked out, twisted front end. Mm -hmm. And also had uh, solo seats with the coffin matching brake light to match the uh, tank, the coffin tank there. Gotcha. And then the bits and pieces are right here. <laughs> that one's not done yet, right? No, that's what we call in a uh, basket case. Mm -hmm. You find it all in the basket. You f find a way to put it all together. Okay. Use the knowledge and, the, and all the tools that's given here. And you put the bike together and come up with what you see right there. Okay. And then um, over here is your everyday rider, correct? Yes. A 2015 FLS Slim. Mm-hmm. Which I didn't call Black Betty now because she do what she do. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's a nice bike. And then this is what you're working on now. We're going to do a little wrenching on this. this yes, is my 1962 a... pan head. I'm going to take from riding it, these shovel, these pan heads and iron heads and shovel heads, they vibrate a lot. So they shake loose. So you got to do a routine maintenance if you're going to ride them. Tighten up some things. Make sure your gas is flowing well. Your oil is, t is tipped off. And you saw the story. You were going through some really, really tough times. And you saw me do the story here. Right. And you said... This could be something I can use to get me out of this funk that I'm in, right? Yeah, especially in my neighborhood. Yeah. I gotta come and check this out. You know, I lost my son and I seen your show one morning. I said, oh, I need to get to this immediately and check it out. And at that time, I ain't had no bikes, Kenny, at all. Yeah. So I came in and looked around. I joined the club immediately. Right. I went on and found a basket case, brung it up here and told Brian what I was trying to do. He said, when you get a frame, we'll start working on it. The frame I found was bent. Yeah. We bolted screws in the floor, we used the crane. We unbent that frame. So you lost your son and you needed something to get you through the tough times and you came here and didn't know a soul. No. And then the guys just kind of embraced you and said, well, if you get to pieces parts, we'll teach you how to put a bike together. And yes, now sir. you're on bike number five. Well, bike like eight or nine. Eight actually. or nine. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. I'm glad we could help. Thank All you. right. We'll start with you. We're going to talk about some of the things you're doing. As you can see, uh, Willie has maybe. a neck. He had just had a mini bike. We were talking. He just had a mini bike as a kid. Never worked on a, a motorcycle before. And now look with the with the great community here and uh, that story we did. Wow, I almost feel as important as Wayne Dawson. Okay. <laughs> All right, when we come back, we're going to hang out with Willie and some of the guys here. Also, Brian started a new company that helps high school kids, mm -hmm. and that wasn't here when we started with it back, so we're going to talk about that too. That's All right, back to you story. guys in the studio. Great story, Kenny. Yeah. It really, really is, man. Goodness.